What is up, Pyromaniacs? Palsies here. We are back in the world of uh, Death Stranding. Uh, and I wanted to check something. Because it's possible. Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, there's multiple mules. Fucking wonderful. So, what happened was I've been dicking with the mules to the south when I need to be up here dicking with the mules to the north. So, it's quite possible then that what I thought is completely wrong. Unless these are the fucking sensors. Holy shit, that's close. Okay, now that's the... Call it a rule or a habit, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful. These guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. I also love... I love how they, they have given me literally absolutely no fucking stuff. Like, but if you got to, be ready to fight. Like, with what, dickbag? Remember, Sam, before you approach the mule drop site, we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box. <clears throat> Mule drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise. Okay. There we go. Moving up. See me? I don't think he knows if he saw me or not. He thinks he saw something, but he don't know. here no way this is perfect you're just being a dick now okay that's fine god i hope i don't pull the whole fucking group here there we go in there down. Anybody else nearby? Oh, there we go. What do we got? That's what we need.
That's all we can do. Build the mule boots. Love to steal those, but uh, cancel. Confirm. Yeah, that's that's way. Gonna be way too heavy for me. There you go. We are just gonna head back the way we fucking came. Except for right here. I'm right here. What the f wrong fucking button? Dick bag? Oh, I don't have a ladder. I love how I'm sneaking with like 400 pounds of fucking shit on my back. Pump your legs, dude. Pump your legs. You're almost out. You're almost free. Run, bro. Okay, I don't know if they'll stop at the line or not, but fuck me, run. Oh shit, he's still coming. Okay, 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 we're cool, we're cool. We're gonna grab the rope. Surely he doesn't know how to. I gotta give you your legs really quickly, dude. Is he still- oh my god, he's still coming, he's still coming, he's still coming. Grab it. Go! I'm sorry, I couldn't give you more likes. Unless he's like fucking- dude, if he just jumps off that cliff. Turn and run. They literally get a high from delivering cargo. Like how hard up you gotta be. It's like, man, are there are no booze. Can we get can we get these motherfuckers some weed? <laughs> these dudes need to chill the fuck out, man. Good god. Shit man, I gotta give me some of that good shit. I gotta give me some chores. Can I go to the grocery store for you, please? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Fucking said no one ever. Oh my god. Decontaminating suit. All clear. 
All right. <coughs> Let's fix this shit. Always check your quest locations. Never think you're smart enough to not check your quest locations. All right, make a delivery. Deliver requested cargo. And we'll return all this as well. I guess I guess all of this? Cool. Yeah. Sorry to push you through so much trouble, but trust me, it'll be worth it. It better be. I'm gonna whoop that ass. I got my ass kicked Thanks, at least once the for that. Doesn't have a scratch on it. Never doubted you'd come through for us. Mm -hmm. That's why you checked, right? Like, I never doubted. Let me check the quality on this real fast. Hey, there we go. Up the hill and back. No, no, no. All the way down there. Then die. Then back down there. Then back. And then back up. And then back down. <laughs> How not to do a quest. <coughs> and still get S rating for it. Damn. How are your shoes holding up? Well, not real not well. well, I imagine. Conditions nope. being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. Thanks. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Aren't you nice? Bridge is standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. Oh, but shit. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. All right. Ancient Egyptian view of life and death. What the fuck? Two years ago... Okay. Bridges guard mat Mako? macho? What's not so it's provided you new hologram data? Jesus, okay. What does that have to do? Okay, so we got more bandwidth. That's good. A lot more resources. Damn, we almost hit connection. Well, about 30% of the way through all four. Six, eighty eight, one thirty. I'm getting some levels here. She. I don't know why it's all miscellaneous. I don't even know what miscellaneous does for me. Leveling it up like crazy. See you around. Congratulations, son. I understand you now have access to a Cairo printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we That's have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. Oh, okay. God. Did he have a defibrillator stuck to his chest? Take on orders. Orders for Sam. Chiral crystals. Okay, so that's cool. I kind of want that. Um. I guess recycle this this keeping those uh recycling those too. We should put some mule boots on. Okay, 
confirm. Okay, wow, that was actually quite a bit of resources. Okay, let's go to the fabricate equipment. I want two pairs of boots, please. Oh, fuck. Alright. That's fine. Confirm. Yep. Hold all. Ladders. Two PCCs. Okay, confirm. Uh... Oh, wow. We really... Throw cameras. Okay. Thank you for your contribution. Yeah, click tab. Uh, manage cargo. We want to equip these. Hold on. And yeah, we'll just just discard those for now. Who else can have those under shit right now. Okay, let's see if that's given us the ability to make. CC two still no generator. Mother fuck. That's fucked up. All weapons will remain All ready home. Decontaminating suits. All clear. Welcome, Sam. Dude, how long are they gonna make me wait? I don't remember how to wait this long before. As a run. Crystal Collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Oh, Chiral God. crystals appear gold to the naked eye and are frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. I hate this guy like Look a lot. These three things, and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Yep. Buck town right up the road. One. One CG? Have a pleasant journey. One centigram? That's not much. That's like not much at all. Weapons restrictions limited. Okay. Let's make sure we still don't have that option. We still don't. I bet I have to go back and do that post office box one way the fuck back there. To trigger that. Ah, that's just what I'm thinking. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. Yeah, I see one right I here. You use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. Go. There we go. That was easy. Oh. 
Boop, 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 boop. Alright, let's go turn this in. That was fucking easy. Notice how that pathway has gotten clearer and clearer. Everywhere. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. Not a bad haul. Play Ten times what you asked for? We'll take good care of it. That's pretty fucking easy, literally in and out. B? Motherfuckers. Sorry, I got my repair spray. That's all that really matters. I can do bridges now, but I still can't do fucking generators. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate it. I'm mad. I'm gonna have to go back and do that stupid post office mission. Way fucking back there. even more shit how much more shit holy fuck that's like a hundred extra kilograms it looks like we were at like 220 240 now we're at 330 jesus oh before i forget this is for you a generator a fucking harley a box yes container repair spray for patching up cargo container Good yep. for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Yep. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. Yep. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. Always. We're playing on, you know, the fucking horrible difficulty. Look scared. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for RD and other applications. Okay, there's a new order. Bridge. We've added a bridge. The first step is laying the foundation. Plenty of rivers and canyons. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I get give yep, it a try. Yep, yep, Okay. Uh, got that. We are gonna add two more of those. And one, two of those. Thank you. Still can't do anything else. That's fine. Confirm. Yes. Fucking cut it all. Do 
I just didn't load it all. Right? Jesus. Order assigned. Uh Dude, it literally will not let me press anything. Yep. Okay. Poor cargo. Auto range. Yes. There we go. Confirm. Now, turn around. Alright, flip it. Manage cargo. Auto range. Go. Confirm. Okay. Fuck me. Have a pleasant journey. I know I have another quest there. Oh my lord. Okay, Sam. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. The foundation should already be in place. With your help, we'll have the thing finished in no time. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Weapons restrictions lifted. Look at how fucking jacked my stamina is. Sam, looks like you found the site. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Okay. Complete structure. Materials. Add materials. Confirm. Shaka Laka. I'll take the yes rating. How many more likes? Hardly any. Bravo, Sam. That bridge should make life easier for a lot of people. You can be sure that every traveler and porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Keep an eye out for other spots that could do with another well placed bridge. So, whoops. The so bridge is the first real infrastructure that you can make. And it's. That one won't do us anything because it's made actually by an NPC technically. And everybody has it. So we're not getting anything special for doing it. But the next bridges that we make, they'll be part of our network. And those will then give us credit for their building. So anybody who uses it, you get bonus points for. And then anybody who chooses to like it, you get bonus points for. Fucking bridge still. Oh my god, that's infuriating. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go back and do the post office. I fucked up, and that's the reason why we're... I'm 90% sure that's why we're fucking having problems. So let's go and switch it off, and let's go. Problem with this is... We gotta go all the way the fuck back there, so... They want it built. Yeah, they want it built way the fuck up there. So let's get to hoofing it. We'll pick up some chiral crystals on the way, and I'm curious to see how our little road develops. Because remember, this road keeps getting more and more, and you guys have hopefully kind of kind of tell as the videos have gone on that. The progress here is just getting insane. I'm gonna stop and pick up these crystals though. Pick up. There we go. 24 grams. I end up filling this up pretty quick if I recall. Total 73 grams. We got like two more right here. 
There's a third right up there. Fuck me, dude. I'm gonna be capping out pretty fast. All right, here we go. So that's a follow-up question I've got. Is, am I the one making this path? Or is it the community? And the reason I say am I was the one doing it, because it, it seems like at least a minute ago, it was following my footsteps. But now it seems like it's following the communities. Because remember, right there through those rocks, I always go around this little area over here to the right as opposed to where the path is. So I think it's more just community travel and not so much individual travel, if that makes sense. There's one right there. I wouldn't mind that crystal, but I don't want it bad enough to go get it. Right there next to Doomslayer. You're fine. I like how there's a footprint on that rock there. Break. Okay, now this sucks, so we're gonna have to go. BB. Okay, I was holding my breath there. At least I was trying to. Okay, we're good. Holy shit. We made it. Oh my god. Keep going. Fuck me. I also love how he was like, it happens to be in places of high uh, precipitation. Nice. Uh, like I like to say, every fucking where. Because in this difficulty mode, there isn't a place that doesn't have this fucking precipitation. It's ridiculous. The good news is, once we get this, um, what do you call it? Once we place the post office, it should give us the ability to place the power. Once we have the power, we can charge the bike. We can put the bike in the thing, which will allow us to repair it and more or less have one on call. And then at that point in time, certain aspects of the game get easier. I mean, you have to be careful because if you ride into a BT, you're still fucking, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. I really liked the speed increase there for a minute, but at the same time, that was kind of scary. I'm gonna wanna pick this up. We've got a big ass one over here. Look at the size of this one. It's like what, 24? That's a big one. 112! Damn! There's a fucking thick boy there. I can do that. I also love that you can basically do these at a full sprint, more or less. Which is kinda nice. I plan on staying outside of the uh the mules area over here if we can. I'd rather not deal with them on the way over here. I just want to get over here, plant this thing, get the fuck back. Too far from cargo mule boots. Oh no, what'll I do now? Where am I gonna get my shoes? Alright, let's see. We are here. I'm trying to see what the easiest way. I think we're just gonna hang. We're just gonna hang on the road and keep running. Like down this way. Come on. And then, um, cross over to the center island when we get a little closer. And then just run down the center island. I think that'll be the easiest way. Holy shit, did it actually dry up for a little bit? What the hell? Cheats. 
I thought there might be a limit on this, but I'm starting to think there isn't a limit. Because we've been scarfing these things for uh, quite a minute now. I haven't had any problems. I'm just gonna cross, fuck it. I really wish there was something long enough. I'm not gonna stand around here and make a bridge. It just doesn't doesn't make any sense. Okay, will you fucking figure your shit out? Come on. Guess I should probably snort some, some crack real quick here. Hang on. There we go. Alright. You know, it's funny, because I, I don't usually agree that there's bad things in video games. Usually I'm like, oh, it's a game, it's no big deal. You know. But, like, literally, this game is telling you that you need to drink three Monster Energy drinks. 60 ounces. Enough to make a, a normal man's heart explode. So that you get a 25% bonus to stamina every time you leave. And it's, like, needlessly in your face about it like every single time you go you gotta you gotta <laughs> you gotta get your your monster fix and i mean i got nothing against energy drinks i am a red bull fiend myself but i'm just thinking you know uh, i mean i'd like to think people aren't stupid enough you know to drink three monster energy drinks in a row to get their 25 percent stamina boost for the day but I know there's at least one of you motherfuckers out there who's like, that's a great idea. Why did I think of that? <sighs> See, and you're seeing these footsteps on the ground with thumbs up for me, which I don't understand. It's, it's like it's saying this is my pathway, my road. That'll make more sense later on when we actually make a road. Okay, we're almost to the spot. We're almost to the spot. Be able to turn around. Of course it's gonna be in a fucking BT area. Where else would it be? Alright. Whoop 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 whoop. Sam. I see you've arrived at the designated site. Good. Now then. Ready your PCC and select post box. Build one within the area specified. Done. <laughs> Sorry, it still gave me my awesome. I'll take it. All right, are we gonna get our ability to make a fucking reactor now? Good work, Sam. That's a fine looking post box. It's a fine Relax looking post box. And select share locker. You can share cargo and equipment with your fellow porters. Fuck Deposit em. a ladder and a climbing anchor, and I'm sure someone will eventually come along who could use it. If you've got enough supplies, why not leave some behind? Do right by others, they'll do right by you. Do I have to? No, I do not. Okay. My fuck those people, man. I ain't leaving them shit. So my question now is, is that going to unlock the Jenny? Because if not, I may have fucked something up. Because by now, you definitely have access to the generator. I've used it at this point. Like, I rode the bike to the other area. Bikes are they're, they're kind of useful and they're kind of not at the same time. And I'll kind of explain that once we get one. But I don't understand... What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Oh, shit. Steady. 
Yeah, no shit, man. What the hell? I'm like tripping all over your feet all of a sudden. Yeah, I will be going back and resting in private here in a minute. Whoa! That looked like it would have fucked and broke a leg. All right. We almost back. Yeah, you can actually sleep out here and it'll give you a little bit based on like your uh what's the word I'm looking for? Based on how long you sit. So if you don't sit for long, it, it doesn't give you much. You got to sit there for a while. You'll notice the uh, mules are not coming for me. It's because they're still all in, they're all dead. It takes a long time for them to kind of come back, which is good and bad. It's bad in the aspect that you know you, you can't just farm them. It's good in the aspect that you can't just farm them because otherwise you could just continue. Because the resources they have are usually insane. Um, I've had some of the later ones like I, I had to do two or three truckloads to bring all the resources back, and it was kind of crazy, so. All right. We're getting close. Let myself rest for a sec here, Jesus. Let him catch his breath. Well, it... And what? What were you saying? Now you'll see right there, we're resting. Now this doesn't count as sleeping, it's it's resting. And you're seeing our little bar is slowly filling up. If you quote unquote sleep, it'll re, uh, refill faster. But again, you have to sit there for like five, six minutes. So most of the time, it's better to just pop a re uh, an energy drink and that'll get you through. So thankfully we've got a little bit left. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that real fast. We're going to pop it again. Oh, we're empty. Okay, so we need to be really careful here. Because I've kind of run us a little ragged without going back and resting. And so because of that, we don't have a whole lot of stamina, which means we're not going to be able to hold our breath long. We're not, I mean, we shouldn't have to cross a river again. But I do need to be careful with the, uh, the BTs up here because we are going to have to walk by them. Also, I don't know if you guys are noticing the, and it's a big part of the game that just doesn't trans, translate well into a let's play. Like when the packages lean right or lean left, I have to hold left mouse or right mouse to counteract that way balance. And that's a big portion of the game that you guys just really don't even get to see because you can't tell. You know, you can't see what buttons I'm pressing. You can't tell that I'm holding left and he's flying to the right, etc., etc. You know, it's all part of the game that's just basically hidden from you guys, but. It's, uh, we are doing it, and it is, it does make even this boring, I don't want to say boring, because I, this is relaxing, you know, after a long day of work, walking through this beautiful terrain, chilling with you guys is, is very relaxing, but it, it's, you know, it's not the same as, you know, dropping a 40 bomb in COD by any means, but different strokes, different folks, different games for different times, etc, etc. All right, how are we doing on... St oh my god, stamina is torched. I don't want to push this too hard because we are going to need... some of that up here, I think. Unless we get lucky. Well, no, I see that black strand right there. I don't think we're going to get lucky. This path, though, is... is completely and utterly solidified. We could ride a motorcycle through here. There's still rocks. But the rocks have definitely thinned. Well, at least I'm getting my steps in. Yeah, no shit, right? If only, uh, if only real life cardio could be done like that in video games. As soon as they come out with like a good treadmill, like one of those 360 degree walking things that you use in VR for a reasonable price, a lot of them now are like five, six thousand dollars. Once you get one of those at a reasonable, pro reasonable price so that normal people can use them, and they come up with video games that, you know, just this game alone, you know, maybe throw a little more combat into it, people will lose so much weight and die of starvation <laughs> and heart attacks from just working themselves to death. But, uh-oh. 
Where is it, BB? Just gonna run down the road for now. I know there's... There it goes. Alright. Yeah. Let me get a little closer. Don't let me know when we're close and it's bad. Somebody got their ass kicked here because there's a ladder over here now. And there was not a ladder before. Oh shit. You see the footprints? Keep right on going, Brosif. No. Why'd you just give me a thumbs up when there's literally one right there? Okay, whatever. Don't care. We're leaving. We're gonna here and pick these two up and then we'll head in. Lot of chiral. All right. Now that's one thing I didn't do very much of in my normal playthrough, is I didn't spend much time like playing with BB and like trying to make sure he was happy all the time, and I did end up having a lot of problems well, because of that. I have a feeling those are going to be exacerbated in this playthrough, so I'm going to be a little bit more tentative with. Making sure we don't do like extended runs. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to our little base, recharge BB periodically, etc., etc. Because you can later on in the late game, you can get to the point where you're just kind of like going from spot to spot to spot to spot without so much as paying attention, and you don't always go and take sleeps and things like that. And if you don't, in the normal on normal difficulty, it's not so bad because again, you don't have issues with all of your like. Stamina, etc. But here, those things are drastically increased, and so yeah, it's gonna be a pain. All right, I want to see if they've given us the option now. I don't think they have. So we have watchtower, bridge foundation, post box. That's it. Okay. Nope. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Uh, where is it? Here we go. So this is equipped. Point backwards. And I'm just healing that thing up in the top. Okay, it's fully restored. Good go. And that's why that spray is awesome. You can do that with like a shit ton of stuff. I don't. What the fuck? Get up! He's literally exhausted. Okay. All right, buddy. Just five more steps. Shit. Damn. We'll take a break here in a minute. I think he was being attacked by BTs or something. Shit. All right. Let's. Let's see. We want to, uh, I guess, recycle. Uh, the resins.
I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this too because we've used a little bit of it. The other one's full, right? two of those just in case that way we, we know we have some buy one more pair of boots i think we're good okay <laughs> he's like falling over backwards and shit all right Ooh, ooh, easy, easy, easy. Yeah, I can't believe they're not giving me the power before we go to uh, to the next spot. All right, well, that is it for this video, guys. I want to thank all of you guys for watching the series. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. If you are, best way to let me know is by leaving a like and down there, leave a comment in the comment section. <sighs> we will move to the next spot in the next episode. Hopefully, figure out what's going on with the generator. Um, and maybe get some vehicles going so I can show you guys that. The benefits, the drawbacks, etc, etc. That being said, that's it for me, guys. If you like this video, slap the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip. What's up, Power Maniacs? Here is our new outro screen. Hopefully this, this works a little bit better. It's a little easier for me to control and uh, should function at least most of the time. <laughs> it's a little ghetto looking, but the background's pretty, right? Right? Other than all the dead animal carcasses, which we're just going to ignore for now. Anyways, big shout out to all the supporters who stuck with me over the last uh, couple months, especially for the last month with zero content being produced. You guys are the baddest mofos out there, or you just have more money than sense, or you just forgot about me, and that's okay too. Either way, uh, Alex, Knock Joker, and Cole Walker, thank you so much for 20 months. Dagger Cook, 19 months. I know you're still here. I saw you in the comment section. Uh, 22K, Kelvin, 18 months. Ronald Weasley and X Legion X, 17 months. We've got Star Wars Josh Smith just celebrating his one year anniversary. We got Xerxes Break 59, Chandler Porter and Coaster sliding in just shy of their one year anniversaries. That means next month on my birthday, you guys all been here for a year. Congratulations. Uh, we've got Alex Maguane at 10 months. You got a way to go, sucker. Oakley Thomas Tucker at four months, and then the infamous Shadow Villain at two months. I still don't know who you are, sir, but uh, we're keeping our eye on you because you are an evil villain. I want to thank all of you guys once again for the support. Appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to have your name added to this wonderful, glorious, beautiful background here, uh, just got to throw a little money my way by cl clicking that join button. Thankfully, clicking it is easier than me saying it. Um, we have two, five, and ten dollar subscriptions, and each of those has a few different rewards if you're interested. Uh, as always, though, keep in mind my content is free, always will be, so you don't have to do that unless you want to. Uh, that being said, I do appreciate those of you who do choose to support the channel. Uh, I will hopefully have my beautiful wife come up with something a little bit better than this. Uh, once she she decides that she loves me enough to do that so it might take a while that being said guys thank you once again i appreciate it i'll catch you guys in the next clip